Right now, the way girls as young as 13 may be getting the pill, the New York Times reporting that it is happening with new apps and websites. ABC's Lindsay Davis takes a look at how it works. It's birth control made easy. New apps and websites are now prescribing women, and sometimes girls as young as 13, birth control without ever stepping foot in a doctor's office. About half of pregnancies in the United States are unintended, and we'd like to see that number decrease. Hans Gangaskar, co-founder of the company NERX, says it strives to make birth control more easily accessible. We think using telehealth and telemedicine to advance access to birth control is, is the only way that we can really do it. For many, visiting the doctor for a prescription can be time-consuming and sometimes costly. For some women, like 21-year-old Sarah Montoya, apps like this can be extremely helpful. It makes it communicating with the doctor much easier than actually going to an office, being able to chat with them uh, in a way that's comfortable, in a way that's not so intimidating. So how exactly do the apps work? In most cases, women have the option to answer questions about their health online or by video chat. Then they're paired with a doctor who talks them through the service and ultimately provides the prescription to the local pharmacy. Some even ship the contraceptives directly to your door. These new websites and apps do not require legislative approval since clinicians still write the prescriptions and need to follow state laws for telemedicine. But some doctors say the seemingly convenient over-the-counter birth control method isn't for everyone. Birth control is not one size fits all. There are many options out there, and I think patients and doctors need to work together to find the best individual option. Joining us now from Los Angeles is OBGYN Dr. Lisa Masterson, host of the podcast Health in Heels. So, Lisa, what do you think are the best benefits to this technology? I think it's great. This technology is really wonderful for women. If it empowers them and lets them take control of their bodies and their reproductive health, it's really good. It makes it so much more convenient for them, but women have to realize it's still not the standard of care, still not the gold standard, because you really want to consult with a physician because there's many risks and benefits, and they need to know about it. The convenience is great. If we can decrease that number of unintended pregnancies, that is enormous. So that's very huge. It has great potential for for empowerment and decreasing unintended pregnancies. I completely agree, although people do need to understand there are side effects, and seeing that doctor in person, you re it really drives that point home, wouldn't you agree? Oh, absolutely, and also the, the counseling that you get for, um, you know, for, tr uh, for sexually transmitted infections, right. really, really important because that's one of the things that isn't on a lot of these websites is they talk about the contraception, they have you fill out a questionnaire, but they don't tell you, again, this isn't going to protect you against sexually transmitted diseases. And it's much better than black market birth control pills, which you don't know what they are, you don't know if they're expired, yeah. so you really have to vet the site and know where you're going. And what about the possibility of kids, young kids, as young as 13, being able to circumvent their parents to get birth control? Does that concern you? It, it does concern me. It's really controversial. It's really important that these young girls, if they're going on these sites, they're thinking about having sex. And so they do need contraception. But the thing is, they're the group that would really benefit the most from the counseling, from knowing that you have to also use STD protection or condoms and really getting that counseling. So even though this group, they really feel uncomfortable seeing doctors, so they would really benefit from the convenience and the, the support, they also um, really need to consult with a doctor. And not to mention all the emotional impact. All right, well, Dr. Lisa Masterson, we thank you very much. A lot of questions on this topic. We appreciate it.